Hey everyone, my name is Sahil Travla and I'm a second year UBC Medical School student and in today's video I'll be sharing with you my winning video entry for the Sixth Surgery Scholarship but before that, let's do the intro. Alright and welcome back. If this is the first video that you're watching of mine, I want to say a big thank you and welcome to our YouTube community. On this channel, I like to make health and fitness videos, medicine related videos, travel vlogs, and other fun ones just like this. As you may already know from the title, in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you all my winning video entry for the Sixth Surgery Scholarship. For those of you who don't know, the Sixth Surgery Scholarship is put together by the Sixth Surgery team from the Toronto Cosmetic Surgery Institute, in which they award a $1,200 scholarship to one deserving student who has demonstrated leadership in medical or health related fields. And the winner is selected according to their academic achievements and their submission of a 500 word essay or a two minute video presentation. Now, given that I had a strong inclination towards surgery, I was beyond ecstatic for this opportunity because I get to combine both my two favorite passions, medicine and filmmaking. So it was pretty much a no brainer that I was gonna make a video. And that's exactly what I did. Over the next one to two months, I began brainstorming story drafts, brainstorming storyboards, um, learning new filmmaking techniques, starting to film it, starting to edit it, while talking to my mentors and trying to get tips on how to do certain edits and how I can learn from them. And dare I say that by the time I actually finished editing my video and submitting it for the scholarship, I was really, really proud of it. In fact, I think it's one of my best works yet. That being said, I am very fortunate and beyond grateful that I am this year's scholarship winner and it's with even greater honor that I get to share this video entry with all of you. I hope you guys enjoy. Here you go. We've been collaborating with machines since the dawn of technology. But every now and then, our lives are changed with new technologies. With surgery, that comes with the introduction of robotics. Hello, my name is Sahil Chavla and I'm a second year UBC medical school student. Now, I like to believe that surgeons are uniquely positioned to be innovators. With the advancement of robotic surgery, we've enhanced precision, flexibility, control, and vision for the surgeon, which ultimately means a better experience and outcome for the patient. With all that being said, it seems like an amazing time for surgery, but not for everyone. Did you know that the poorest third of the world population only benefits of around 4% of all performed surgical procedures? For example, in the last 10 years, natural disasters have killed 760,000 people, injuring 2 million and affecting 2 billion people. Now, if you think about it, a natural disaster can really happen anywhere in the world, but the impact is just so much higher for those areas with minimal resources. With the COVID pandemic, we've seen telemedicine become a regular part of our days. But can we really apply this to surgery? Is it really possible to do remote surgery? Well, with the advent of 5G technology and robotic surgery, this technology allows surgeons to do remote surgeries in disaster areas at distant borders. And so doctors at large hospitals can help colleagues at smaller institutions across the world. For the first time, we could see different specialties from across the globe collaborating together on a single project. Finally, as an aspiring surgeon, it's an exciting time for me to be in medical school. And I realize that the future is truly closer than I think. Thank you. And welcome back. I really hope you enjoyed that short film. For everyone watching, before we go, I just wanna say hard work does pay off. I remember when I was trying to put this whole project together and submit this my scholarship entry, I had my moments of doubt and I had moments where I didn't know if all this was gonna be possible, if I had the skill set, if I would be able to 
implement this the way that I'd imagined while balancing medical school and all my other commitments, but hey, we did it. So let this be a reminder that hard work does pay off. And if you can dream it in here and believe it in here, truly everything is possible. You can achieve it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for being a part of this journey. Until next time, tons of peace, love, and gains for you. Bye.